The last two weeks, the NMSU Aggies have been fighting to reclaim the first place spot in the WAC. Aggies entered the night in second, hosting Cal Baptist. Now, the Lancers only had two wins in conference play. They were on a three-game losing skid. So for NMSU, the goal was to not let this turn into a trap game. To the Pan Am Center we go, where everyone in, in attendance had to wear a face mask or risk ejection. As we reported, NMSU even closed the concession stands to ensure state regulations were followed. First half of the game, NMSU in front, Teddy Allen drains the tray but right before the half lancers up four chance hunter hits it from behind the arc then it's hunter again from downtown cal baptist would take a 10 point lead into the half now aggies get it going in the second down by one johnny mccants can give the aggies back the lead and msu up two when allen Gonna bust out the spin move, the bucket for Teddy Buckets. Then how about this play by Jabari Rice with the one hand jammerama. Aggies go up six and they would hold on to win this one. Final score, 68 to 57. NMSU improves to eight and one in conference. Big night for Teddy Allen leading the way with 22 points tonight. Allen also reached 1,000 points in his college career. NMSU has now won three in a row and some more good news for NMSU. First place Seattle lost tonight against Grand Canyon. So when Seattle comes to town Saturday, it will be NMSU's chance to take back first place in the WAC. After the game, Chris Jans on his message to the team on not looking too far ahead. A lot of times I don't talk about that too much, but I did before the game, right before the game about, hey, I got a funny feeling. I just don't feel the vibe. And, you know, and, and, and it's just you guys got to be mature and we got to respect these guys because they're good. And we're a long way from talking about winning anything. We're in a race. We're in a race and uh, we've got to protect the home court. I feel like all of us are coming together as a team. And, and to be honest, I don't think we can be beat once all of us are playing on the same total. So we're going to take every game like everybody's in first place and we're going to be the hunter for the rest of the year. NMSU hosts Seattle Saturday at 4 p.m.